James McLean says he is pleased with the way he and West Brom finished the league season under new manager Darren Moore but the Republic of Ireland winger remains unsure whether he will be at the club next year and it looks to bounce back from relegation. It was a frustrating season, of course but I managed to play the last six games and as a footballer, that's what it's about. I know we got relegated but I think considering where we were to where we finished, we kind of got a bit of pride back, a little bit of dignity. I had two good opportunities to leave for regular football, he says, in reference to bids by Burnley last summer then Derby in the January window to buy him, but they denied me both times and then didn't play me. As you can imagine, it was very tough. Then Darren Moore came in and made me feel like a footballer again. I can't thank him enough for that. I'm delighted that he got the manager's job, he's deserved it. His record speaks for itself. Obviously it's going to be a different challenge when you get the job full-time but I've every faith he will do a great job. Whether McLean is still around to play for more in the championship remains to be seen but the 29-year-old insists it is not his priority as he prepares with the rest of the Ireland squad for the friendlies against France and the USA. I have another year left on my contract, he says. We'll see what happens over the summer. I've got two games to focus on, two games I want to do well in. That's my only focus. It is not clear what top flight options, if any, might present themselves given that McLean did not stand out hugely in a disappointing West Brom side. Overall, he started 14 Premier League games and came on in another 16 but had just one goal to show for it at the end of the season and not a single assist. The dairyman, though, is fairly clear about where he would be heading if the opportunity presents itself at some point. Look, he says, if it was up to me, I'd have been a Celtic player a long time ago, it hasn't been for the want of trying but hopefully one day. In the meantime, he says, the reception he received from the club's supporters on Sunday was, something I will always keep with me and treasure. Meanwhile, Bohemian's goalkeeper Shane Supple has been called into Martin O'Neill's squad for the friendly games against France and the USA with the 31-year-old having impressed, the manager said, in last Friday's league match against Dundalk which the Ireland manager attended. The full squad for the trip to Paris won't be confirmed until Thursday but the FAI has confirmed that both Seppel and Shamrock Rovers midfielder Graham Burke, who featured for the last half an hour of the game in Glasgow on Sunday, are both to be included. The two Dublin clubs play each other this Friday night and the Ireland squad leaves for Paris the next day. The following week is a little more complicated, though, with Rovers at home to Dundalk and Bohemians due to travel to Limerick on the eve of the game against the USA at the Aviva but Bohemians boss Keith Long says that the understanding is that the players will be available to train with and play for their clubs. The communication from the association has been clear, Shane will be available to play in the league games against Rovers and Limerick and to train with us in advance of both games. We are delighted for him, though. He is clearly one of the best goalkeepers in the league and this is recognition of his form for the club over the past two years, but he is also a man of real character and depth, and he will go to the squad with our blessing and best wishes, said Long. Bork will be delighted to have retained his place in the squad after getting on in Glasgow but the call-up marks the latest twist in a remarkable career for Seppel who gave up playing club soccer entirely for six years after opting to return home, clearly disillusioned, from Ipswich Town in 2009. The Dubliner, who had previously been capped at under-21 level, decided to concentrate on Gaelic football and made it into the county's senior panel. In 2015 he returned to soccer with Crumline United and amid a fair bit of interest, joined Bohemians the following year. 
O'Neill said on Sunday that he had been impressed with the way the goalkeeper had imposed himself against the league leaders and with Darren Randolph and Kieran Westwood both missing, he has decided to bring him into the squad so as to have a closer look. Gary Rogers had previously been brought in by O'Neill but Burke became the first player still at a League of Ireland club to make it onto the field during the current manager's reign, albeit in what was an unofficial game.